Back in the 80s and many years previously, we had milkmen and milk ladies too. The milkies got up very early to deliver the milk to our doorstep. In today's world, we might say the service was from farm to table. If you don't eat dairy or are lactose intolerant, then you might say that this information isn't for you. However, if you love the planet and want to help heal it and make it a better place for future generations, then perhaps it might be. The milkman would deliver when most people had already gone to work. But in those days, many housewives were at home as their partners had already gone to work and jokes about inviting the milkman in for a cup of tea became commonplace. The milkman delivered the milk in glass bottles. Yes, glass, no plastic to be seen. When the bottles were empty, we would wash them and leave them on the doorstep for the milkman to collect. We would sometimes place a rolled up note in the bottle to let him know how many bottles we needed for the next day or to tell him not to deliver since we had enough. Yes, it was a message in a bottle. The milkman knew every house on his round and how much each house usually consumed in milk on a daily and weekly basis. He kept the details in a notebook, not on a computer or smartphone, and he knew how many bottles you had had for the week. He would leave a note for you saying how much you owed and he rang the doorbell for the money at weekends. He drove his milk float with all the crates of milk on it very slowly, around 16 miles per hour, but it was battery operated and it was very quiet too. Yes, it moved with a battery, long before electric cars became the in thing and trendy. Prior to this, horses had pulled the milk floats. We had little milk bottle holders for milkies to deliver our milk and some had little dials that we could turn to indicate how many bottles we needed. There were milk bottle top covers which you left out and the milkman would place on the top of the bottle to prevent the birds pecking at them. Each strength of milk had a different colour top and during the 80s advertisements started to appear on the bottles making them collectible. Old milk bottles were used as vases and as storage for flour and baking goods with the addition of a lid. We filled them with coloured sand and shells and made candlestick holders with them and gave them as gifts. They became storage for nails and screws and they came in handy on bonfire night for fireworks. As time went by, more dairy goods became available from the milkman, such as cream, yogurts and cheese and then bread and orange juice became available too. Sadly, large corporate supermarkets made it impossible for small dairies to compete price-wise and the milkman disappeared. It was an amazing service and one that provided jobs. Jobs at the dairy as well as for milk rounds. The milkman was a valuable asset for a community, played an important role and enjoyed the job. Milkies were always cheerful, helpful and kind, and the whole business was green. There was no wastage, no plastic bottles being dumped into the ocean to pollute the ocean for 500 years, or dumped into landfills to pollute the earth for 500 years. No diesel or petrol used for deliveries, and a customer service that is practically non-existent nowadays. Here's the good news. After many years of the consumer buying milk from the supermarket in plastic bottles, the Milky is making a comeback. Having fresh products delivered to your door daily is actually more convenient than going to the supermarket. It's very true that you never know what you've got till it's gone. Milkies have been missed and we want them back as soon as possible. <coughs>